Sometimes I want to feel very feminine. So today I'm here to share with you my most feminine fragrances that are appropriate for cold weather. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha and my channel focuses on fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you all have been watching my videos for a while, then you probably know that I love unisex scents. I don't see myself as like the most feminine fragrance wearer, honestly. And I know it can be a little bit touchy when we talk about feminine, masculine, unisex. Um, just know I'm not trying to offend anybody. Um, you can wear whatever you want to wear. But in my opinion, these are fragrances that I feel like are all women. I feel like these fragrances are feminine. And I wanted to share them because I do talk a lot about unisex fragrances. And most of my fragrances in my collection are unisex, to be completely honest. But these definitely give me all the feminine vibes. Plus, they're perfect for colder weather. I've done a video kind of like this before. Um, usually when I talk about gift giving or anything like that, I typically would recommend more feminine fragrances because I feel, find them to be more likable by most women. But those other videos that I have done feature like light and fluffy fragrances or springtime fragrances. But the fragrances we're gonna talk about today can all be worn now. And a lot of them you can wear year round as well. But I didn't want to include the same ones I always talk about when I think about feminine or girly type scents. So let's get into the fragrances. I have 10 that I wanna share with you and I have one honorable mention. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the honorable mention this time. The honorable mention that I have is from Victor and Rolf and this is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And the reason I'm calling this an honorable mention is because I have not had that many chances to play around with this fragrance yet. I've had it for probably over a month now and I have worn it a couple times, but I'm gonna be doing a video talking all about this fragrance and comparing it to the original Flower Bomb. And so I don't wanna give away too much <laughs> In this video so that's why it's an honorable mention but it is a very feminine fragrance so if you like very feminine scents um, this is a sweet floral that you should definitely check out the rest of the fragrances will not be in any particular order so the first one up is Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge and this fragrance to me is very womanly it features the note of jasmine however the jasmine is definitely jazzed up by some spiciness and there's something just very sultry and intoxicating about this scent. I am not the biggest jasmine lover, but this is one that I can get with. It's very smooth, it's very sensual. It is not headache inducing for me, which I find to be a problem with some jasmine fragrances. This one is just so well done. And it's an oldie, but it's definitely a goodie. This is definitely a more mature scent in my opinion. So I think it will work for a variety of age ranges, probably anywhere from 25 to up, however old you are. <laughs> um, but I don't think this would really appeal to teenagers. It just doesn't smell like that type of scent to me, but it is very like creamy and sensual and the jasmine is just so perfect in this fragrance. So that is Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge. The next fragrance that I have is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Le Parfum Intense. This one is a beauty. It is sweet, um, it is fruity, but the fruits in here are quite like deep and dark. I know pear is the fruit that they mention, and you can definitely smell the pear, but the pear is very grounded. It's not sharp, it's very smooth and sweet and almost syrupy. Uh, it also has vanilla or tonka in this as well. So it, that gives it a bit of a darker, sexier vibe, and I actually really, really love this one. It's quite addictive to smell. And I love it for nighttime, for date nights. It's quite sexy, but it also just makes me feel quite feminine and playful and flirty. So this is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Le Parfum Intense. The next fragrance that I have is from House of Siage, and this is Wonder Woman 85th Anniversary Edition. Now this one was sent to me a while ago, and I know this is the 85th edition, but from what I know, this is the same as the other Wonder Woman that came out. It's just in a different packaging. So if you have that one, this is the same. But anyway, this one again is a very sweet, 
smooth, but this one also kind of has a sparkling nature to it. It honestly smells quite similar to this. I'm not gonna lie, I know there's a big price difference. They don't smell exactly the same, but they are definitely in the same family in that it's this syrupy, sweet, a little fruity, but grown up dark fruits and just very likable, very sensual, very feminine in my opinion. So I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're really into Wonder Woman. Um, I'm not in particular, but I love this fragrance nonetheless. Also, this candle is amazing too. They sent that to me as well. We're not talking about candles in this video, but I just thought I should throw that in there because the candle is bomb.com. Anyway, this is House of Siage Wonder Woman 85th Anniversary Edition. Next up is Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One. Now this one is a beautiful caramel coffee scent. I have, I feel like I talk about this fragrance in every date night video, every Netflix and chill video, and it's for good reason. I actually really, really like the smell of this. And my husband loves it on me too, so I end up wearing it quite often. But like I said, this is like caramel coffee, but the coffee is not strong in this. This is a very like smooth, blended scent. It's quite sweet and it's quite gourmand, but it doesn't smell like actual food, but it definitely has gourmand touches. And although the notes kind of sound heavy and this is a very sweet scent, the way that this one is done, it just feels very transparent. It's never overpowering or cloying, although it is a very sweet scent. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. The next fragrance I have is from Nishane and this is 100 Silent Ways. Now this one is newer to my collection, but I absolutely love it. And I love how feminine this feels to me. So this one is a vanilla scent that has some white florals in there. And I know that sounds a little bit basic, but it smells so good. So vanillas, white florals. I'm not sure if caramel is a note in here, but it definitely smells like there is some caramel to this as well. In all honesty, this does smell similar to YSL Black Opium. However, this feels like the elevated version. They don't smell exactly the same, but when people compare them, there is a reason for that. They are similar, but to me, this one is just better. <laughs> I love Black Opium, so I'm not trying to talk trash about Black Opium, but I did wear that for years, and so I've passed my time with that fragrance. So to me, this is a nice step up. Very beautiful, very feminine, will work for a variety of age ranges. The next fragrance that I have is Amouage Portrayal Woman. Now I feel like this is a very feminine scent. However, I do not think this is a safe blind buy because I know a lot of people that don't like this, whereas I also know a lot of people that love this. So this fragrance features jasmine and tobacco, <laughs> which may sound like a weird combination, but it works so well together in my opinion. So the jasmine is sweet and very creamy. And then you have the tobacco in the background that kind of just lends it a kind of like smoky quality. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's perfect for all times of the year. And I have worn it in really warm weather and I've also worn it in cold weather. And it smells a little bit different in each season, but I think it works well in both. Um, so if you're looking for a feminine scent that is not going to be like the average Joe, <laughs> then this one may be one that you want to check out. So this is Portrayal Woman. The next fragrance I have is more of a girlish scent, and this is Killian Princess. This one is famous, I know, but I felt like I needed to include it. This is a marshmallow-based scent, and I do find it to be very feminine. However, I will say this has matcha tea to it, and I believe ginger. So a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of an herbal note to it, along with that sweet marshmallow. So I think all of those notes combined help stop this from being too girlish. So I know I called it girlish, but I don't think it smells juvenile at all. And it is very feminine, but not too young, <laughs> in my opinion. But I do think a young person may like this and wear it and love it. But at the same time, I don't feel like it's out of place on my 38 year old self. So I absolutely love this. I think all ages can wear it. And it's a nice spin on a marshmallow scent that is perfect for older people like me. So <laughs> yeah, this is Killian Princess. The next fragrance that I have is Mon Guerlain. And this one is quite famous here on YouTube, but I still want to mention it because when I think about feminine scents, honestly, this is the one that I think about. This one is a vanilla and lavender scent, 
but the lavender in this is not too striking it's not too herbal but it definitely is there and the vanilla is just very sweet and smooth is done in the Guerlain way I think Guerlain has a way with vanillas and this one definitely displays that this one I tend to think of as a mom type scent because it just feels so inviting so enveloping so warm like getting a hug from your mom but it's also a little bit sexy for the other side of mom i love this scent and i think it's perfect for year-round use but i tend to wear it more during the colder months just because i feel like it gives me that warm cozy feeling so that is mon guerlain from guerlain so the next fragrance i have is from bdk and this is passe soir so this fragrance is absolutely beautiful this is probably the spiciest scent that I'm sharing with you all today, but I still feel like it's very feminine. I feel like it's hard to find very spicy scents that still smell pretty feminine. So the spice that is most present in this to me is the ginger, and I happen to love ginger, but this is done in a very like feminized way in my opinion. It also features the note of quince, which is a fruit that I have never smelled or tasted, <laughs> but I love it in this fragrance. This is a gorgeous fragrance that is spicy and interesting, but still very likable. And I think it's very feminine. So if you're looking for a spicy scent, but you want something very feminine, I think this is a safe bet. That is Passe Squad from BDK. And the last fragrance that I have to share with you has become very popular on YouTube lately, but I still want to share it because I happen to love it. This is Kayali Vanilla 28. And this is a sweet brown sugar vanilla. This one just smells so good and so yummy without smelling like straight out food. And this layers really well. And I know it's a vanilla and vanilla can go, you know, masculine, feminine, or unisex. In my opinion, this one definitely leans way, way more feminine. I think that the sweetness of the brown sugar and just how smooth this is really makes it feel feminine to me. Now this does have a little bit of spice to it, especially when you first spray it. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not all sweet, but I still would classify it as a sweet brown sugar vanilla and I definitely think it's feminine. This makes me feel very pretty, very womanly when I wear it. So that is Kayali Vanilla 28. So those are the fragrances that I wanted to share with you today. These are ones in my collection that I feel are the most feminine and still perfect for cold or cool weather. If you've tried any of the fragrances that I mentioned today, definitely let us know in the comments below what you think of them. What is your go-to fragrance when you want to wear something to make you feel very feminine? I would really love for you guys to share that in the comments below, especially if you have one that is suitable for cold weather. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. I always like to give you guys sneak peeks over there and I'm definitely trying to be more active on that platform. So follow me if you are not already. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.